Hey everyone, Derek here from WayScript. In this one, let's look at how we can send ourselves a text message whenever there's a change to our database. Let's get started. Starting out, we'll go to WayScript.com. If you don't have an account, it's completely free to sign up. We'll log in and get started. We'll click on create a new script, and this one will be text message from DB change. The specific example that we'll use for this is let's say that we have a database that has product information about orders. So let's pull in an SQL module and drop it here. I already have this database set up, so I'll select it from select a database, and then let's query only the certain information that we want. Let's do something like select sum of our quantities from our order summary table where our product is equal to our A product. So what we're doing is we're just getting back a sum of the order quantities of our product A. The idea here is that whenever this order quantity for product A changes, we want to send ourselves a text message. Once we run our code, we get back the information from our database. Let's import this column and we'll just leave it as the default column zero. And then we'll click on done editing. Now that we've imported this, we can access this as a variable throughout the rest of our script. Since our script needs to remember a value from the last time it ran, we need to use something called variable storage. We'll click off of this and go back up to packages. We'll go to variable storage, and then we'll pull this in to the workflow. We don't need to do anything just yet with this, but this will read in a value that we will write later on in our workflow. Next, we only want these conditions to occur whenever a conditional is true. So we'll go and pull in an if logic module and drop it here. Now that we have this if loop in place, let's go ahead and create that variable that will store throughout our runs. We'll pull in another one inside the true side of our if statement, and we'll create it using the create variable module. So we'll pull that above our variable storage. Let's create a variable. We'll call it total will be equal to the column zero in the zero list position. This will just be the sum of that quantity of where product is equal to A. Once we click off, we see that this new variable is defined here. This is the variable that we want to write whenever this if statement triggers true. So we'll add a variable to write into our variable storage. We'll put in total. And now anytime that this if statement is true, we're writing the variable of total. This is the variable that we want to read in before we decide on the if statement. So we'll go back up to this one, and let's read in total. That may seem slightly complex, but very briefly, all we're doing is we're reading the value from our last run, and then we're reassigning the value if it changes on our next run. So we read it here, we test to see if it's different from our last run, and then if it is, we add it. Now we just need to create the text message action. We'll go back up to our packages, and let's import text messages. We'll import it, and then we'll pull it in here. I've already added a phone number for this tutorial, but the first time that you use this module, you'll have to verify your phone number, and let's create a message. New product A order total. And then let's pull in the total amount, which will just be this value. Of course, if our order quantity doesn't change, we don't want anything to happen, so we won't put anything in this else side of our if statement. Finally, we need some way to activate this. Let's activate this every hour using a time trigger. We'll import that and select it as our trigger. We'll run it every hour and then let's turn it on. Now that everything's in place, we just need to set up our if statement. So let's set the statement to if total is not the same as our column zero in the zero index position, so if there's a different value currently than what there was on the last run, then this side of our tree will run. The first time that we execute this, we have nothing in our variable storage, so it defaults to that string. But the second time we run this, it should be replaced with the value in this column. So we should get a text message the first time, and then after that, we won't get a text message until the data in our SQL database changes. Let's run this script now. In our log, we see that our if statement was true, and that a text message was sent to my phone. This is that text message. 
And now when we run this again, we see that our if statement returned false and didn't send us a text message. And that's pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let us know. Until next time.